So in this video, we're going to start looking into creating of an experience on EonXR platform. First, we need to be signing in. Please be aware that if you have a problem with signing in, there are some of the options available here. After signing in on the website, and right now I'm using a desktop computer for that purpose, you have to be sure you are in your institution. So if you not see the name of your institution here, you have to push option here, switch organization. Please bear in mind that you have ability to change your profile settings. And in the profile, you can set up your account info, set up the picture, go over creation of the avatar. And there are two types of the avatar, one which will be present, representing you in the process of a E.ON special meeting. And the other avatar currently only supported female voices for the AI assistant. Every user has ability to set up and configure own passwords, the same as per the user interface language. And in some cases, if that's necessary and used together with the marketplace, users can set up own payment aspects and sell their content on the marketplace. Before we're going to start, we just see that in the library there is already some of the experiences here available. Those experiences are published in that institution so if you're in a specific institution you can have a, uh, your different experiences published by multiple users any experience that is there available can be selected and most often can be played as an end user can play on a desktop to be able to play the experience on the desktop and pressing a start there will be a message most likely but after a moment there will be a separate window popping up on Windows on, on Mac starting the experience itself when you can interact with that experience. And this is a play mode in which we can play the experience. I close that just to also highlight the another important fact that here in a in your user in a download section, you have ability to download a client software for your Windows or Mac computer, depending which one you're using. And that's what the user can start an experience. If you are creator of the experience, you can press a create button. And on desktop, you have a two options. Either you're creating an experience that is going to be based on the 3D model, 3D asset, or on the spherical 360 asset. If we're going to choose a 3D asset, the next step will be for us to choose what kind of a source of the of the model we would like to use for our experience and we have a various options as well we could choose either free assets so choose from available assets in the library if for instance i would like to have a, a lesson about the engine i can select that and if i will select that that will be already starting the building process i didn't select that yet the other option is to of course search for the specific asset if we need to if their asset isn't available, we can also use a premium asset, but that's a paid asset available on the via, via our partner called the CG Trader. But if you want to use a free asset, there is another two options available here. One is to import it from a Sketchfab. Eon Reality has a partnership with a company called the Sketchfab. And if there is something that we are interested in, we can search on the Sketchfab library and decide, for instance, to use that specific model. If, there, if that's the, something we would like to use, that's not a problem. We can select it and it's already in the library or we can import into the library. Another option, as I said before, when you were creating, you can also use something called the import. Import is also available through this menu, import 3D asset. And in this moment, instead of only a Sketchfab, as I mentioned to you before, in the import 3D asset, we have also our ability to import our own content that can come from a computer-aided design softwares, CAD, or digital content creation software, DCC. And we have a following accepted format. There are quite a lot of them available, either as the FBX, GLB, or CAD solutions like uh, the uh, Autodesk, SolidWorks, CATIA, and many, many others. As you can see, the list is quite quite a large one, including the sterilitography step models for a CAT format, FBX, OBJ, GLB for the DCC, most, most commonly used format in Collada as well. So for anyone who's knowledgeable in 3D modeling, 
or in using a 3D softwares, there is ability to bring those models in here. When we bring in the model, so when we're selecting the model, we can either drag and drop it here. And when we're selecting the model, it will go to here, my jobs, in the section in which we can look on the process of conversion and later on utilizing that asset inside our lesson creation process. Let's just load. So when it's loaded, we can see that those are the, some of the assets that I have imported into the platform are available here. And if we are interested, we can just view the asset, for instance, rural hospital here, view the assets and the asset can come from various things. Here is actually some of the, uh, some of the 3D scanning and we can utilize it to create the experience. So once again, create, choosing a 3D asset. If it's in the library, we can choose that. If it's not in the library, we can import it and create the experience. Let's just do that now. So I'm gonna use one over here as a element. And what's the process of creation? First step is to set up the lesson title and the experience title we would like to use. For instance, I would like to teach the names of the parts of an a typical car engine. Then selecting a level depends on the settings of your lead administrator in your organization. You might have a multiple educational levels and you, your administrator can configure them. In, because I'm right now in the general library, you know, the li called the XR library that is available for everyone. I have a primary, secondary school, college and CTE, and TVET, university or enterprise. So choosing that, if I will, for instance, as college CTE, then I have a sub, sub parent category in here. So I will choose, for instance, workforce skills. And I'm going to choose here the uh maybe not here actually that's not probably the best one i say science and technology or manufacturing science and technology here automotive technology and i can add a tags or a lesson objective one one uh, thing which i would like to always recommend we know that there is a there is this chat gpt that is right now uh, available everywhere and what i want to highlight that we well, why should not we use already this so write some lesson objectives for the lesson about the parts of the car engine. And here are the suggestions for a typical lesson objectives. Okay, so I can copy this and use that as a lesson objective in my experience, as well as tags suggest some tag words for that lesson and and I have some of the tags already being suggested and I can add them into the experience and build the experience in a matter of of seconds filling the information okay so the next step is the software called the Eon XR should be running on your on your computer the content will be downloaded the model the source of your experience will be downloaded here and we will be starting to kind of uh, superpose this this object with additional information I'll, I'm gonna take it for a full screen view and what do we have in here so in here we have a following so of course the close button to close this uh, solution so it will save the lesson and close it preview lesson if we would like to see right now we are in the edit mode that means we are creating editing the ex, uh, existing content but if we would like to see it, how the students will see it or how the end user will see it we can use this icon here it will switch that model to the presentation if i will do it now you will see that there will be no activities i can view the model but there is here is a little icon showing activities which will be actually empty so there is no no activity yet in the in the experience so it's a pretty simple simplified format i'm going to go back to the editing mode what else can i do on a desktop i have here the options to toggle the annotation annotation comes based on the structure of the model we're going to talk about the changing the annotation in a moment 
explode the view is another thing we can show and uh, and hide the exploded view of the of the object as this icon <coughs> pardon me this icon is available as long as as the object has a multiple parts multiple components S toggle transparency or control t to be able to to trigger the the view of a semi transparent which in many cases then allows us to see some internal part and structures of the objects if the mo uh, if the model that we have used as a source of our or our uh, experience has a computer generated animations already that this icon will be available play animation if we click on it the animation will be played and we can control this animation using this or this animation window we can pause the animation and play it in the following way what else can we do so right now with the left mouse button we navigate around with the right mouse button we can zoom out and zoom in with the middle mouse button or with the left and right hold it together we can move the object or so called the pan the 3d view and and interact with this this object what else can we do with the object itself we can double so the object name is presented here which we can change for instance a typical car engine if we want to have that as a name we can type that in any language is supported here as far as I'm aware moving on what else do we have in here so here we have also the ability to double click on a different component so if I will double click on this this in, intake manifold you're going to see here on the top right corner that we can see that this is a part of an engine if we go back we are in a previous view if we click on the other elements we see this is another part so each of the component that can be in a, in a presented into this explode so-called explode view we can explore also individually by double tapping double clicking on this object and then this object become visible as you can see on its own if the object like this one has also sub parts and can be taken apart even further then we can even look in it that this cylinder block has also the other components i'm going to click here on the pistons and rods and you can see that there are another components here so the piston and roads roads are elements of a cylinder which is the element of the car engine and if i click on the further on then i can go to the individual components and individual further on as long as as i will have little sign here on the score here uh, to show that this is the structure from rod to piston and rod from piston rod to pistons and rod a rod cylinder block typical car engine so the full structure we can interactively navigate through the hierarchy of this creating the experience of course we have to consider the the what we want to give as a knowledge to the students to the learners that will be watching this this content and interacting with this content and here if we work on a desktop you have an option here of a side menu which allows you which informs you currently you don't have any activities or no activities on this annotation even though i don't have any annotation selected but there is no activities if i would like to add activities there are two ways of doing so way number one is to add so-called general activities general activities are the activities that are not linked with any specific specific component they are general for the full experience so for instance to add the general activity you can use this plus sign on the top, uh, bottom right corner pressing on it we see the available list of the available activities that we can add to the uh, where without any specific parts selected so that could be audio activity video activity identify locate which is currently on active quiz recording sometimes called the 3d recordings pdf and image so let's go over those all of those activities that we can use right now audio activity allows us to add an audio recording or a record an audio as well to the uh, to the elements uh, of the 3d model which is not the general elements of the of the 3d 3d asset selected so in that case usually it is used for the introductory part let me do the example i'm going to press a record button and I will call this introduction and then I'm going to record my own audio 
Hello, so this is the introduction to the lesson about the typical car engine parts. In this lesson, we're going to go over the typical parts, their roles, functionalities, what's the purpose of their maintenance. Please stay, watch, play and have fun. So as you can see, this, this information will be right now recorded and available here. Hello, so this so you can hear this, you can change uh, that there will be also an automatic transcription to the text. We can choose depending on which language we use for our voice. We can use the select that and that will be then transcribed. Save this as well as there is a few options. So there is a play option uh, and you can see the duration 18 seconds. Trans transcribe aria, language selection, saving, cancelling. Here is a little icon to choose if we want to have any specific view so which means we can set up our model that we want to have introduction when the model will be in this position select that click on it use the current 3d view for this activity and that will be then the view for the activity called the introduction we have also ability to select the animation if there is some specific animation we would like to play and it's already been available inside the application we can potentially choose that i'm not going to do that yet but here the audio activity has been uploaded to the cloud, to the internet, and it's available right now within that activity. Audio activities, when we are talking about it, has also options to, instead of recording our own voice and do the transcription, we can do the other way around. So we can use the text that we would like to type it. Hi, this is an experience of the virtual car engine and that kind of a text whatever i'm typing i'm typing that in i have i can have converted to the audio using various depending of course what language you use i use uh, english so i can use the different accents and different formats of the of the language and uh, multiple languages support as you can see here quite a lot of different uh, languages and the accents so if i will stay with the english somewhere here also, if I will go back to the English United States, I have a various accents that I can choose for those. So if I will use the Joanna's voice and play it. Hi, this is an experience of the virtual car engine. So that text will be read and we can also select how fast it should be read by the, uh, by the uh, generated voice. Plus, same thing, we can set up the camera view and we can even find some of the text on the internet. So use some sort of uh, um, search options for finding the necessary content on the net. And, and for either it could be what, how, why and fun facts. So if we want the text to be generated by the um, elements of the search engine inside the Eonexer, we can use that. Or I can put a cancel and Hi, this check it, save it, and that will be another element in there. Okay, just to finish on the audio, just one more thing to mention, there is also ability to upload your own MP3 files, audio files in here if we want. I'm kind of, I've cancelled it. Another activity I want to talk about is the video act uh, in the activity. So we can have a generally video adds to any components of the of the of the model as well as general to the lesson those videos could be sourced from various uh, various places of course most obvious and most popular around the world is the youtube so if we go to the youtube with with our browser we're going to find some of the video for instance saying compute now it was the car engine parts and we're going to find those the videos and there might be some video we are interested in here car components it's uh, it's in here some of the video being being available unfortunately there is also some adverts that i have to skip let's wait okay so i post the the adverts in here i have some some video is available on the youtube we can either right mouse click and copy the url or we can use option here share and copy the the URL of that the address of that video then being and I'm minimizing that being in the Eon XR application I can use the YouTube URL option I can either type 
the option here, paste your, your link, or I can use this option just to paste that automatically. And I can set up another view for this video. For instance, I'm going to do this time the view from this section, save this view together with this point and saying parts of the engine or car engine com components. Right, save that and that, that video will be then added. We can always edit the activities as well. So when we click on the activity, there is here the edit option or delete option as well. And that's that's a possibility in here for every activity. You can see also that when I click on one to another, it changed the view of the model as well. What what else can we do? Uh, the other activity, we, as I said, we, the, within the video, we can also add the video from our own address. So if it's on our hosting on our server, so we can use the URLs or upload the MP4 file, which is a typical file format for the videos that could be done as well. Great. So except the audio and the video, we have also here option identify. Identify is usually uh, usually a question in which the student's learner needs to type in some of the information. So here, the, the question could be, what is this? And when we see the full engine, the typical answer will be, sorry, the, the answer which is expected will be typical car engine. We can change that the typical car engine comes from the hierarchical view and the, because right now we are on this part. If, if I will be in some subcomponents and I will add the identify, then that specific part will be then uh, selected to what is this and that part will be presented with the question what is it and you have to answer cylinder block by typing it, having a specific amount of the seconds uh, chosen for answering that questions and what well, that will be a question here, what is this? main and the answer is a cylinder block saving it and that will be then available as identified you probably could notice also that when we are not in the top view but we are in some sort of a part view we have then available option locate so that's another activity that we can use and we can press a locate in this case the question will be different. They will, will be, we will see the full full components like a full car engine and the question will be locate intake manifold when our role will be to select and highlight the object that is that with that name. And the answer will be of course the 3D model of that object and we can also get a, for instance 45 seconds for that activity. So we talked so far about the audio, video, identify, locate activities. There are four more available here. One is the quiz activity. Quiz activity is a, is a very simple, simplified options of inter, in, uh, interacting between the, the application and the, and the learners where you can choose your question. For instance, uh, what type of fuel is usually uh, provided to the engine? And we can have a question like that and then based on that question we can have a multiple answer so it could be for instance uh, petrol diesel then we can put for instance hydrogen and here we're going to put air and i'm just making stuff up in here from the point of view what we want to use but we can have either a single answer or multiple answer question and if we want to have a single answer, we can select which answer is correct one and provide a time limit for that. Or we can use the multiple answers, selecting, for instance, that the petrol and diesel are the most commonly used, providing a some time and saving. And that quiz will be then available for the students and the students will be exposed to those questions. Another thing except the quiz is the 3D recording. It's a very fascinating and useful functionality allowing me to record my activities and record the uh, voice together with what I'm doing on the screen so the students can follow exactly the way I would like them to follow. So let's try to do that now. So I'm going to press a, a record. Okay guys, so we're going to go over the typical parts of the engine. You can see here oh, there are some of the elements like mechanical elements 
some of the elements related to the hydraulics and the transmission of the power. So one thing, if we're going to look uh, in the dissection mode, we have a main cylinder, uh, cylinder block, which is built from the, the crankshaft and individual cylinders, pistons on with the rods. So when we look at it more specifically, that looks how it looks like, we can play the animation here. So you can see that, that based on the combustion chambers and the, uh, the, the gases or the petrol, which is uh, exploding inside it and providing a movement, which later on transmitted the movements via the roads and pistons into the, into the shaft. Shaft is then moving a flywheel. When we look on the full object here, we can see everything is moving and also generating the, the cooling for the engine, generating the electricity. There is an oil filter because all of the mechanism for, from a fraction point of view and needs to be also using the, some lubrication process so we can see the full, full object when we are ready. We can finish. So you can see right now I recorded that elements here. I can go to the components and having them presented, but I can also play. Okay, the guys, so we're going to go over the typical parts of the engine. You can see here. So my recording of the voice together with this little pointer, if we're working on a desktop, will be presented. And we have ability, of course, to edit that, delete, change the point of view that we want to see it from the point of view of the recording person. And, and having that as instructions and even request the students to be automatically assessed based on that, that they will have to follow step by step the same process. So that's very useful functionality. Once again, it was called the 3D recording or recordings. And now the two, two last thing on the types of the activities, PDF and images. Those names are relatively self-explanatory. PDF allows us to add to the existing experience, 3D experience uh, documents in the format of the PDF. And, and we, can, we can add that there. And when the, uh, so we can select any PDF we have on our hard drive. If there is some of the, some of the PDF we would like to use, I have here something about the solar thermal, which is a little bit different topic, but if I'm interested, I can just upload that and that PDF document will be saved, uploaded and used potentially in this experience. So if you have any instruction, manuals, guidance, documents that the students should be or the learners should be familiarized themselves, you can have that here. And uh, the last thing is an image. So if there are some of the images that we would like to use, we can use this option to upload that image. And for the example I have, I can select the file choose some files that I have. I think I have here the, the some of the models or pictures of the engine. So I'm going to choose that picture and that picture could be then saved within the experience. So the students will have also the ability to play that image in here. Every activity on the list, if we click on the title, we can see that there are currently nine activities. We have ability to reshuffle them in a specific order we would like to have. For instance, maybe introduction audio, then the 3D recordings then maybe the students to be asked to watch the uh, or read the PDF documents and and then when they finish uh, when they finish that they're going through the quiz uh, identify locate and press showing the image whatever you would like to have in the, in your lesson plan you can decide so so those are the activities that are general activities there's some of them they are more or less connected with some object what else as you can see there are already annotations here as a creator of the content, we have a following abilities. We can click on any annotation that exists, and the annotation might be visible depending on your point of view. So if you rotate your model, you can see the different annotation when you're rotating it from the other angle. And when you have, for instance, an oil filter, you can click on the annotation, and then on the side menu, if you have a side menu being displayed, you can go, there are multiple activities for everything, but the oil filter does not have any specific, uh, specific activities. And we can do various things. One thing we can edit that annotation and change the text to anything like we would like to we would like to have, for instance, filter, or I'll put the oil filter as it was, any spelling, any format we would like to have could be done. Next thing, we can move this annotation. So based on the 3D object, we can move that annotation on the 3D object and saying where exactly the connection point should be. 
Last thing, of course, we can delete. I'm not going to do that here, but there is a possibility also to delete either individual annotation or via this button, there is option even to delete all of the annotation. But we're not going to be using that yet. But uh, most importantly here, there is a plus sign for any annotation we're going to click on. There is a there is plus sign also available. That means for any, annota any annotation, we can add the activity and then specifically to that one little thing called the oil filter we can add the audio video identify locate quiz pdf and images so we can put here option record oil filter i use in every every engine to make sure that the all of the elements that might be our um, in the oil itself that might be damaging the engine are filtered and so oil is being pushed in the pressure via the filters and all the dirts, all of the, um, the, the elements, maybe metallic parts or, or others that might be in the oil should stay in the filter. Filter should be maintained on a regular basis. Depends on the mark, uh, brand of the car, brand of the engine. Please check your instruction manual. Typical for, for a car I own. I'm doing the changing of the oil and changing of the oil filters in the same time every 15,000 uh, every 15,000 kilometers of the uh, when I run the car. So that audio right now will be recorded in and it will be allocated with that annotation. That means we can create multiple annotations. You can see also that the annotations that are linked to the to the object have a background with the blue color. And, uh, and this you can see also a little blue dot next to this object. So every object that will have some, some, some elements here, for instance, I'm going to add another image to the cylinder head and I will find something that might be, okay, I would like to use for that example, upload and use that image. Images could be in the format JPG and PNG. And then you can see that those annotations have the options. We can also change the order when that specific annotation with a specific object we would like to be included into our lesson plan. Okay, so this is how to manage the annotation. What about if we want to add some our annotation? So when we see the annotation, that's the easiest thing, and we can right click, right mouse, but use the right mouse button to click on the 3D object and to add our own annotation. So here I'll put the example annotation approve that and that example annotation will be then allocated to the object and we can do everything the same as with any other annotation so we can add move or delete and edit this annotation as well so that's not a problem to add additional functionalities okay what else uh, i mentioned to you before in the very beginning that you can rotate with the left mouse button zoom in with the right mouse button middle mouse button or both buttons to move the object as well as you can double click on the object and see changing the structure here is a relatively new feature available on the desktop allowing you us to do the different navigation format this isn't maybe that useful in this this model but it will be in a scene where we can kind of walk around and navigate around the objects so that's sometimes a useful thing to go. If you want to go back to the initial view, you can always click on the home, home icon and that will bring you to the initial view of the experience. Okay, so there are lots, last things that I would like to mention in this extremely fast process of demonstrating how the desktop application works and in creating process is that we can have an initial view for our lesson at the very, very beginning and I can set it up like I said, initial view. We can have here annotation option where we can reverse the direction of annotations. We can change the uh, to be radial from the from the object, or we can delete all of the annotation. The useful thing, I mean, here is the hide buttons that you might disappear some of the buttons. Then you can have you will have to press this icon again and show the button together, back together. And there is a settings option, which is a useful if you have some object that maybe the color is blended. Too much with the background you can change the background color you can set up even background audio music or background sounds to be played to give a more sense to your experience that is possible so changing the background is a simple thing to selecting the color of the background you would like to use with your experience adding a background sound is also useful where we can select and upload the file to the uh, to the application select the volume level and having it, that available there are some other things related to the computer graphic like uh, 
uh, shadows and ob uh, and object there to use the high dynamic range uh, related to the lighting and auto exposure to the auto exposure the camera and the scene uh, so there are some of the elements related to the computer graphics representation on your device so those are the major activities here when we finish with our with our lesson we can test it how it's going to look like from the student's perspective learner's perspective and in, now I'm not editing, I'm actually playing this, and I can see those different things, including my own example annotation. But I, I don't, when I click on it, I no longer have options to add, remove, delete, anything like that, because I'm in play mode, not in the edit mode. And I see here, we'll see here the lesson plan with all different activities that are in this lesson, in this experience. Audio activity, another audio activity, 3D playback, video, PDF, and many, many others that I have just added over the over the process of creating this video. And I out each of them clicking selecting, I have ability then to play that. Hello, so this is the introduction to that's an audio that I choose, and you see when I play this, it's gonna have a tick box. I completed that. Hi, this is an experience of the virtual car engine. So another one, I can go to then 3D, 3D playback and play that experience. Okay, so we're gonna go over that and to see that you will, after you starting the experience will be like that. We have also ability to be, if the experience is, is complicated enough and the, somebody will watch the video and then watch this three, sorry, not the video, the 3D recording, 3D playback, and would like to repeat it and be assessed, we can also do that here. So right now I need to go over the same process, taking apart, look into this this uh, this individual components and i was showcasing this being running when i finish presenting in in the time i can press stop and i can see how many steps i have completed correctly so how many steps i forgot to do that how many of the things like an oil filter engine i did not select it and there are some of the reports based on that and i can repeat it if i want to then there is a video that i can play and it will be changing the view and play the video taken from the YouTube. Additionally, here we have options to the uh, watching the PDF documents, even in a full screen mode and browsing through those documents. And we can even see it in a full screen mode or changing and closing it to the smaller view if we want to. Everything on a desktop computer. Then we use a quiz. We can, of course, go. We don't have to go in a linear process. We have ability to kind of go to any activity we want. So if I want to see the image, I can see the image, make it full screen, see it full screen, stretch or closed. Uh, or I can choose another any other activities here, for instance, a quiz and quiz allowing me to start the quiz using this, this icon over here, which asks me what is the correct answer. If I will use the wrong answer and submit them, I will be informed that the incorrect. If I will select the correct answers and submit, it will give me a feedback also. Then another type of the activity I can use is the identify. So identify, as you remember, was asking me what is this and you can see there is a highlight and we have to type in called cylinder block, if I'm not mistaken. And if I type it correct, then I will be information correct. If I will use another type of the activity here, for instance, locate manifold, and that will be saying, Locate intake manifold. I no longer I can cheat and see the annotation, and I have to know where it is, and I can select it and submit. And if it's correct, I will be informed about it by double tapping. I selected the object, and then typical car engine image is another thing that I have added here, and another oil filter. Oil Back. filter I use in every. As you can see, also my voice has been transcribed to the to the language, and I'm kind of going through this all different tick box. I can also use this option here to go one by one through the activities, and going from one to another, submitting, going to these icons. When I completed all of the activities, I'll be informed that all activities completed. Do I want to continue playing with that experience or finish it? I'm going to continue going back in here to the editing mode and close it. So I was able as a creator test this experience, save this experience and right now this experience is available here and I can see also that this experience 
that I have created has uh, various activities being added, four audios, one video, one PDF, one image, everything is in the About section, one locate, one identified, one quiz, and one three recordings. I can change its level and, and category setup, and or I will be also able to check the statistic if and who and how use that experience, how much time or spent on a specific activity uh, in here, as well as being able to see the report of the assignment, if there was some assignment and steps being in this process. Plus, uh, also, uh, an overview will have ability to add additional ma materials, experience materials on the desktop. If we are a creator of the content, we can also put the comments. And we, if we have the privilege uh, or uh, permissions being given to publish the content on the marketplace, we can also sell it for a real money into the experiences. Last but not least, is the uh, aspect of collaborating with these objects among the students. So what we could do, we can share the experience here. There is an option to share the experience. Once again, this is the button on the top right corner here where we can click and share the experience. We can share it. A link will be created and based on that link, any member of that organization which we sign in will be able to use it or to any members of any organization, we can share it, we can copy and we can we'll share this link with anyone or we can use this download the QR code and we can generate a QR code and this QR code could be used for in our slides and our materials. If we are interested in embedding that into the learning management system, that is also possible. Plus we can even directly assign the students or learners uh, or trainees using this man manage assignment tool. So here is the ability to add a specific user and I will choose myself here and I can assign a user to either view to or edit these elements. Automatically a notification will be sent to me on my mobile device as well as here in the desktop. I see that this person, Martin Kashitz, assigned me to the uh, experience 47 seconds ago called the names of the parts of a typical car engine. And, and that means I will get that information. Plus, if I'm a creator who would like to publish this experience for everybody, because currently if I will go to my workspaces, I see all activities, all, all the experiences, assets, playlists and packages that I have created or I have been developing. So in the experiences, there is this engine which I just created during this video, but it's unpublished and it's, it's been shared, but it's unpublished. So if I would like everyone in the platform of my institution being able to play that uh, without and find it also instead of being just assigned to it I have ability to publish this in the following way either clicking on this icon here this button called on publish to decide confirm showing in a library which will show the model in the library which will publish the model in the library I'm going to cancel that for a moment or being in a specifics uh, clicking on this image being in this lesson detail experience detail page and we can choose option here with the three dots and we have option to show in the library. If we want to, we can also delete our experience or duplicate, which will make an exact copy of with every activities. And then maybe I can create a separate language version or a separate extension of the same same topic towards the new new knowledge being injected into that. I think that's quite complementary and advanced presentation of the all kind of functionalities. And uh, in the next video, I will focus on creating the experience on the uh, mobile device. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.